Hey YouTube, um, so today what I got for you is actually a comparison between the uh, Google Nexus 7 and the uh, new iPad. So more specifically, we're going to be taking a look at voice dictation. But before we go ahead and do that, uh, let's take a look at the hardware differences between the two. So, uh, for people who are unfamiliar with the Nexus, uh, there are actually two microphones on the device, which is a really cool feature, uh, because when you uh, inevitably hold the device in both orientations, let's say in this case the landscape orientation, I am actually covering one of the microphones, the one on my right hand. Um, whereas um, at the top, you'll see that there is still a microphone that is still being exposed and it can still listen to you and transcribe stuff to text for you. Okay, so that's a really nice feature. Whereas on the iPad, uh, of course, it's only got one microphone at the very top of the device, so that could be a, a, a bit of an issue. Okay, Another really cool feature about Android is that it actually has live transcription. So what that means is that um, when you press the uh, voice dictation button, it's going to listen to you and transcribe your, uh, your, um, your voice to text uh, in real time and it'll show you exactly what you're saying whereas on the new iPad and um, iOS in general when you press the listen button it's going to uh, gather all that information transcribe it once you press the finish button and then show you everything that you have um, said all in one go okay so there's no live transcription in other words okay so uh, let's go ahead and do the tests there will be two tests in this video uh, the first one will have no background noise so it's just me and the device uh, whereas on the second test I'm actually gonna have some background music um, and um, after each test of course we're going to review the results which one is more accurate because that is the most important thing about voice dictation um, regardless of what feature you've got uh, which one is more accurate okay so um, I will try to speak as clearly as I can and uh, we'll see how they do. Alright, so I've got these two devices running right now and I'm going to put them side by side and I will be reading a message from this brochure over here so um, let's see if I can find that page, there it is. Okay, so I'm just going to read this little uh, passage over here and see how these devices do. So now I'm in edit mode for both, press the... In the morning, comma, Try to get at least 30 minutes of exposure to bright light during the day, comma, especially first thing in the morning, period. If you cannot get out in bright sunlight, comma, your light therapy device can help, period. Energy lights imitate natural daylight, but are UV free, period. You can boost your mood and energy, as well as fight winter blues by replenishing the light you may be missing, period. Bright lights will help you to be alert during the day and also cue your body to feel sleepy at the right time of night, period. Okay, so there it is. So I'm going to lift these two devices up to you and you can go ahead and read them. Okay, so I'm going to focus on, on this and what you guys can do on your end is pause the video and take a look at it. So that's the next seven. Alright, and now I'm going to show you the uh, new iPad. Okay, so go ahead and pause that to take a look. So with both devices, um, I'm, not, I'm not too sure about Android, but uh, if you can see here, actually, well, unfortunately it doesn't show me the suggestions anymore but uh, typically what it does is um, the device will after it uh, transcribes it to you will have these underlines on certain words that it wasn't sure if it got right so it will offer you suggestions and when you correct it it will learn um, but in this case um, it did have some but trust me on this when I was reviewing them um, it, it, it no no um, as for the new iPad um, I don't know if you guys saw either, but uh, there were br uh, blue lines that underlined uh, words that, again, it wasn't so sure if it got right. Uh, in the case for the new iPad, um, I did count exactly five mistakes. Um, so, of course, it's not perfect, but five mistakes is uh, out of a paragraph. It's, it's not too bad at all. It's actually pretty good. Um, in the case for the Nexus 7, um, it was a case of, oh boy, um, it did have... Um, 
I think way over 10. I actually gave up uh, because it was just uh, hard to count. Um, so um, it, it, it wasn't so great. Uh, now I'm going to make it a little bit more difficult for both devices. So I'll press enter. Oh dear, my bad. And uh, actually, you know what? I'm just going to clear everything out. So if I can select all, delete, okay. And I'm going to play some music on my iMac. Cool. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Oh, that's a bit too loud now. All right. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and start reading. In the morning, comma, try to get at least 30 minutes of exposure to bright lights during the day, comma, especially first thing in the morning, period. If you cannot get out in bright sunlight, comma, your light therapy device can help, period. Energy lights imitate natural daylight, but are UV-free, period. You can boost your mood and energy, as well as fight winter blues by replenishing the light you may be missing, period. Bright light will help you to be alert during the day and also cue your body to feel sleepy at the right time of night, period. So again, I'm going to show you the devices and you can tell uh, which one, you can pause the video and see which one's more accurate. This one's actually pretty funny, uh, the errors that I got, so take a look at that. And this is the new iPad, so go ahead and take a look at that. All right. All right, so uh, in conclusion, I must say that the new iPad in general is actually more accurate uh, than the uh, Nexus 7. Um, so that's the winner. Okay, so uh, in terms of voice dictation, that is what I found. I am a student, so I'm always doing messages, I mean, uh, uh, notes on PDF uh, annotations on both devices, and instead of typing, which I hate um, on these devices, I actually prefer using my voice. And although the form factor of the Nexus 7 is super desirable, and it's really awesome, um, it is... Uh, it is unfortunately not very accurate, so it's not very functional for me when I'm doing uh, my notes, whereas on the iPad, um, it does work um, much better. Um, in the case of the last test, by the way, uh, both I counted had much more than 10 mistakes, but in general, for the iPad at least, um, it kind of made sense uh, when it had errors. But this one, for example, it says you can boost your energy exactly 25 minutes. I'm like, what? That's, that's, that's very particular. Um, so there you go. So that's my review of the comparison between the new iPad and the uh, Google Nexus 7 uh, in terms of accuracy and, vo and voice dictation. Um, by the way, this is actually my first video for YouTube, so uh, if you have any feedback for how you want these videos to go in the future, um, please by all means put it in the comment section down below and uh, please uh, tell me on how I can improve. Alright, thank you very much for taking the time to take a look at my first video and have yourself a really great day guys. Take care.